pretty forward thinking of these shelter people to have this thing here. That's a big mouth. That's a big mouth. Now, this monster has a one hit kill attack. If it gets you in its jaws, you just die. Doesn't even do hit point damage, just straight up game over. So, we're gonna make sure to lob grenades at it. Whenever it does this little vacuum cleaner attack, we're gonna lob a grenade into its mouth to make sure it doesn't drop a. drop its debris on us. Vacuum cleaner attack? Let's get out of here. Reload. So it's basically this. I haven't found a way to gunblade him. Because he can only be damaged when his mouth is open. But if his mouth is open, he's doing his vacuum attack, which is extremely dangerous. So I've not been able to get close enough to gunblade him while he's doing the vacuum attack without causing the game over. Hence why I've done a couple of test plays of this section of the game now. And hence why I learned something new about the, uh, the gun blade that I didn't know before. Slow and steady wins this race, is the point. What this means, though, is that this boss is relatively easy even in a regular game. As long as you're packing some grenades. I mean, you get a, the, uh, couple of grenade pistols. You've got ways to fire grenades, in other words. I haven't really tried any P.E. powers on him either, so maybe some of the P.E. powers are really good against him. I don't know. Grenades work. He's hungry. I feed him grenades. It's a win-win situation for both of us. But I had started to question myself. Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. Because I was using the gun blade so often. I was starting to question myself, like... Should I really have bought this uh, rifle with the grenade launcher? Am I really going to need these grenades? Turns out that yes, you really do need the grenades. Well, that's gross. Oh, he's poisoning me. That's... I don't know how to dodge. I don't know where to go to dodge that. Whatever, that's fine. We'll, we have so many recoveries. Whatever you want to do, man. You know what, let's actually use one. Um, I don't have any equipped to my... Uh, that's fine, I can heal. I can heal like this. I can life drain. Let's see if this does anything. No. Wish he would open his mouth again. So I guess I can run backwards to escape the poison attack. Let's do some regular heal. up. He's, he doesn't want to open up anymore. Maybe I should attack his, uh... Oh, I ran the wrong way. Well, I want him to just open up his fat head. He decided to not do that anymore. But I need him to open up his fat head so I can actually damage him. But though, just these two attacks over and over, that's fine. That's fine. And I can't target him from back here. And he's taking zero damage from my grenades. Life's not great right now. Uh, uh. Okay, so I have to goad him into opening his mouth, but I'm not sure how to go about doing that. And he's got me stuck again. Because I took the time to heal. Can I open this door? No good, it's shut tight. This control panel? Incinerator control. That sounds promising. Oh, 
Okay, so here's what we're gonna do then. Put the gun blade back on. Since he doesn't want to use anything but these two attacks, I'm gonna see if I can just damage his legs. I'll wait for the poison to go away. We'll run forward. He should use his sticky attack again. There we go. So I guess. Okay, I this I recognize this. Now we put the rifle back on. He's gonna try to suck it, to vacuum in these little blob monsters. Yes. Beautiful. Now, do we have to complete, repeat that process, or are we okay now? Because now he's shooting, like, damaging stuff at me. I guess I just hadn't damaged his legs enough. Finally! Woo! Yeah, that was the trick. I just didn't damage his legs enough. The grenades were not doing much to his legs, though. I guess what you'd have to do then is feed him grenades till he advances, then bust out a pistol or something, or use PE magic to uh, stack up some damage on his leg, get him to advance a second time, get him through all three phases of the fight. Well, good. Now that the boss is dead, we can... Um, I'm gonna use this, I think. And those we don't need. Let's, uh, put the gun blade back on. Actually, let's not. Let's... We're gonna need the grenades again in a second. I just have this, uh... This gut feeling, like this intuition... As though I've played this before very recently. Why would they put the little door if there's a very big door? Why would they ever? Okay, that's fine. That's fair. Not a problem. Um, sure, we'll just go through all that again with the same creature. Except this time I got this big horrible hallway. Um, let's lead him down it. Oh, what do we have here? The floor. Lower it slightly. It's a panel. Refuse lift. Step one, raise. Step two, lower. Okay. Uh. Ah! Don't. Oh god. There's nowhere to run to. Somehow this is working. Somehow I'm not getting vacuumed up by standing here. Eventually the floor will be in place and I'll run across. This is super goofy for an ostensibly realistic survival horror game. It's okay. I'm across. I'm across. He's poisoning me. That's fine, though. Alright. Want some more grenades? Yes. Now, after I damage him enough here, I should get him to advance again. I like how my grenades are actually exploding and dealing splash damage to his uh, legs, even from this distance. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, poison! Poison! God, oh, I, uh... You got poison. I, I could heal that, but... I'm fine. I don't need to heal. I could just be poisoned a little bit. It's just a little bit of poison, guys. It'll wear off. It's fine. And... Ooh, look at that. Oh, you don't feel so smart now, do you, buddy? Because now... Step three. Compress! That's actually pretty gross. You know, just throw a few more grenades in there, just for just for old times' sake. Sp 
blood. Well, that was dangerous. We'll just pop that. Use that recovery three to get our six hit points back. Okay, well, this day is just going from bad to worse. Hello? Can we... Oh, God. I You tried this last time and had to jump down the poop chute, and you ended up in horrible giant monsterville. Oh, you just have to check the door twice. Whew, I'm so glad that there was somebody on the other side of the door. Oh god, it's Zombie Kyle! Kill him! Aim for the head! Oh no, wait, he's alive. So he fell down the crevice and somehow that made his leg injury better? Doesn't have a scratch or a bruise on him. Oh, he splattered on top of one of the pumas. I hope you put seven bullets in it. Well, I did just go wading through the septic tank, so. And then had to kill the monster twice. And looks like he found a flamethrower, so. Bully for him, I guess. Ah, uh, there's a phone, but I don't feel like saving. Let's just hope there's no more one hit kills through here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now I can, uh. Put the gun blade back on. Beautiful. Oh, we're in a sewer. Oh, I'm so happy that we made our way to the sewer after the septic tank and the garbage dump. You know what, Kyle? Why don't you go ahead and take care of this guy? There you go. Keep going. I think you're just tickling him. My goodness. Alright, you know what? This is going to take forever if we leave it up to you. Never mind, you're flamethrowing. And you missed. That's how it's done, Kyle. Right there. With the gun blade. Maybe you should invest. Just saying. There's another one. Can I get it back here with pyrokinesis? No, pyrokinesis is not long range enough. Excuse you! No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Anybody else? Oh, there's still one at my feet. You know what, Kyle? That one's yours. You finish that one up. I will get one inch closer to this guy. Why are we having so much trouble with these fools? Kyle, are you... Will you shoot him, please? Or burn him or something? Thank you. 13 damage, huh? I mean, you know, no, 13 damage is fine. 13 damage is, uh... I mean, perfectly average. I mean, a lot of men can do 13 damage. It's not like 2300 damage or anything, but... No entry. Area submerged during drainage. Um, I'm really not interested in the drainage of this area. I'm just interested in getting back up to the awesome shelter where we still have... Like, is it still telling me to go to that hallway, I wonder? Let's check. No, it's not. It's not even telling me to go to that hallway anymore. And it looks like everything respawned on B2 as well. Poop demons? Yes. My favorite. 
There you go. How many how many bullets would it take for you to do 2,700 damage, Kyle? Just saying. Watch and learn. You should have seen what I got up to in New York a couple of years ago. So we have a control panel. Looks like we have to go down the stairs here, but... We have a water situation happening. Oh, Kyle's blocking the memo I need to read. Get out of the way, Kyle. Here's the memo. Check for occupants before opening the floodgate. Well, I killed the occupants, so... Let the rats, roaches, and spiders drown. But first, count their legs, enter the total, and raise the lever. That's some good old adventure game horn swoggle right there. Well, a roach has six legs, a rat has four legs, and a spider has eight legs. So... The two-digit password, which right there, a two-digit password, really, must be, uh, 18. Don't worry, guys. Security's on it. They put a two-digit password. I mean, the guessing space is, like, 99. That would take somebody at least five minutes to run through. You're right, that would be a little too difficult on the employees. Let's put an adventure game memo on the wall. Some dumb stuff to do with roaches, maybe? I'm feeling roaches. Actually, Aya probably is feeling roaches now that she's, uh... knee-deep in the horrible sludge water that the poop demon was just in. Sure, we'll fight a monster in the tight-ass corridor here. Oh, goodness, it is a poop demon. I'm not used to fighting those guys on... in, like, in their own turf. Alright. No, it's okay, Kyle, I got him. Don't worry, your pretty little head. A light's shining through, but it's locked. Like every other door ever, it's locked. Alright, let's keep going. At this point, you imagine I would tell a story like, Yeah, you know, last time I was uh, down in a sewer like this, I had to kill a giant mutant alligator. Yeah, that happened. Also, one time I took a like an eight-year-long vacation to the Chrysler building. I was there for ages and ages. Where's this guy at? There he is. He's pretty far away, but can I get to him in time? Let's let's drag him back here and deal with him. I think Kyle just burned him to death. Kyle, that was... That was pretty good. Congratulations, you got one, man. Now prepare to die. Never mind. Control panel. So this is an adventure game puzzle for the full moon gates. There's something written on the LCD screen. I have no idea how you're supposed to solve this puzzle. I have no idea how I solved it back in the day, but you do have to solve it in order to get the good ending of the game. And I'm sure there's a clue somewhere, I just missed it. Um, yeah, the, the solution is 15. Why the solution is 15, I don't know. So either back in the day I looked up a walkthrough or whatever and the solution said 15 but didn't say where the clue was, or I was just really stubborn as a kid and just started punching in numbers and then on my 15th guess I got it right. But anyway, what that does, obviously, is opens up the gate that we passed. Because I'm pretty sure you can't come back to this area later, so if you don't do this part now, you lose your opportunity. And then it's pretty close to the sewer section. Uh, in the end, and Kyle's like, hey, can we leave the sewer? And if you say yes, which why wouldn't you say yes to wanting to leave a sewer? You missed out on the opportunity to open this gate. What's on the other side of the gate? A 
barking dog. Flint! Flint, you're alive! And he's barking. Shoutouts to Eurixia, who sponsored this video, and to everyone who makes this channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.